Well, good day to each and every one of you. This is Sean 1113 with a college football game that has never been settled since 1990. That is the Georgia Tech, Tech Yellow Jackets coached by Bobby Ross versus Colorado Buffaloes coached by Bill McCarthy. And that it you know, call it, and let me give you some background information about this. First of all, this will be played on Fast Drive Football, College by Al Wilson. Please check that out with the college if you love the college game or also the pro game. Actually, get both if you ask me. It's worth it, and it's also free as well. And it, it, to give you a little bit of a history, Colorado was number one one in the Associated Press Bowl when they were posed at the time. And Georgia Tech was number one in the coaches poll by at least one board over Nebraska. And it has really never been settled ever since then. People have wondered if this game was ever played, who would win this game. So today, this is a, this is a new version called Let's Settle This. So... This is a good this is a good example of that. Georgia Tech, Colorado, 1990 team. I mean, I'll be playing this right here, like the um App Lewis Research Fast Drive College Football Roller Dive. If you want to check that out. And also let me let me give you the stat, status for Georgia Tech. Prolific on offense. On defense is staunch and stiff defense. Colorado. 1990 Colorado, that were in the Big Eight. Prolific, dynamic on offense, stiff and aggressive on defense. Georgia Tech special teams, kick returner electric, field goal 11 to 45, extra point 11 to 66. So it's basically automatic. And then 1990 Colorado, punt returner electric, 11 to 45. And both of them are pretty much the same. And extra point 11 to 66, so they're going to be automatic one way or the other on the extra point. <coughs> Let me practice now. And this is and this is the um, game right here. And I'll be using that. And also this roller dice right here um, who scores the touchdown because I have a sheet that has all the players who scored, who for the run, receiving, kick return, what have you. Unless it's defense, then it is a different story. Now, I did the coin toss. Colorado won the toss, but Georgia Tech will receive the ball for the first quarter. So here it is, 1990 Colorado, 1990 Georgia Tech. Here we go. Kickoff time is here. And Georgia Tech will receive the ball in Average field position. Here we go. Great field position, four-star offense. No erratic offense for Georgia Tech. No a field goal attempt, however. And the time was time is two minutes of laps. Field goal attempt for Georgia Tech. And the kick is up, and it's no good. So Colorado will now get the ball. In average field position. Let's see what Colorado does. Door two-star defense, no. Quarterback lunges across the goal line. Touchdown run. And last three minutes, cuts down Colorado. Rattle, Darian Hagen. Again. We'll get the touchdown for Colorado. Here's the extra, the extra point. is actually good, so... You don't even have to roll that. I mean, it was 11.66. So it's Colorado 7, Georgia Tech nothing, with 10 minutes left in the first quarter. Colorado kick off to Georgia Tech. See where they land. Average field position. See what Georgia Tech does. The goal line, plunge, touchdown run. Georgia Tech took four minutes off the clock. And we're going to be tied at 7. But who gets... Who got the touchdown run, though? 
for Georgia Tech. It will be William Bell that gets the touchdown round for Georgia Tech, and we are now tied at seven. Seven with six minutes left to go. Quick first quarter so far. Here's the kickoff for. Here's the kickoff to Colorado. Average field position. Let's see what the Buffaloes do. Inept defense. No. Gray. No. But they will get a field goal attempt. Here is the field goal for Colorado to get the lead 10 to 7. No, they will not. Average field position will be for Georgia Tech. And see what see what the Yellow Jackets do. No, they one tick on the clock, and they will punt. And here's the punt. Georgia Tech punt to Colorado. Deep on their own end, and it will be poor field position for Colorado. Let's see how much time it is. Four minutes to go in the first quarter. Very quick first quarter. Here's Colorado's possession with, four, with poor field position. It is nope. It no, in that defense, no, but they will get another field, try of a field goal. They're 1 for 2 on field goal. They're 0 for 2 on field goal. I mean, they're 0 for 1 so far on field goal attempts. Here is, but they did go all the way. They run, they, well, let me get this over. Colorado has, has gone down the field to the point that you will get this field goal. Here is the field goal. 11 to 45, it will be good. No, they barely missed. They missed, but barely. And Georgia Tech will get the ball. Average field position. Position. And let me count this for a moment. Two minutes left to go in the first quarter. Let's see what the Georgia Tech does. And that will end the quarter. Let's see what they have. Secure offense, no. Clumsy or active defense, no. They will punt. And that will end the first quarter with Georgia Tech and Colorado not tied at seven. And the ball will be back to Colorado on a, on a Georgia Tech punt. Here we go. So Colorado will take it for average field position. For its field position. Let's see. Let's see what the Buffaloes do. Dynamic offense. Yes, they do. Now they go to the great field position, so they're going to have to re-roll. Roll. Position. Position. Let's see what Georgia Tech does in this in great field, in, in this prime field position, deep in the Georgia Tech territory. Starts defense. Oh, they just stop them. Four minutes is up laps, but the starch defense of Georgia Tech have put them all the way back to a punt. Enough for, for Colorado to punt. So Colorado has to punt it back to Georgia Tech. Here's the punt. Average field position for Georgia Tech. A terrific defensive stand by the Yellow Jackets. Let's see what Georgia Tech does with the average field position they have. Oh, fumble. It's going to be a fumble. Fumble. Let's see who recovers the football. Oh. A turnover by Georgia Tech. Colorado will get great field position. Position. To Colorado. Colorado. And gets great field position. Let's see. Let's see what Colorado does with that. Oh, they will they will have to punt. Dynamic. Soft defense, no. They will have to punt though. So Georgia Tech once again. Heck, once again makes a great defensive stand. And they will now get the ball back. Let's see how Colorado punts this football. 
A great punt by Colorado puts Georgia Tech back in poor field position. Position. Five minutes to go in the half. Tied at six. Georgia, Georgia Tech and Colorado are tied at seven. Let's see what they do with, with the fort, with the deep in their own territory. In that offense or five star defense, no. Poor field position, it will be a punt. Back to Colorado. So the Buffaloes are ready. Already, and they do have an electric kick returner. So let's see what happens there as Georgia Tech punks back to Colorado. Excited return by the punt returner. Great field position. Dave, hold on. Dave McCloggan makes a great punt, returns this to give Colorado a great field position. Three minutes to go in the half. Let's see what Colorado does here. Three star defense, no. Poor field position, no. But it is a touchdown pass. Touchdown, Colorado. Let's see. Now let's roll this. Rattle. Who Derry Hagen puts? Let's see who gets the touchdown. 19. Bruce Pritchard. Hagen to Pritchard. Pritchard. To Pritchard. I'll get that later. But it's 14 7 Colorado. The lead 14 7. 7 less. With one minute left. They're not going to have much time. And by the way, Colorado will get the football to start the second half. So they're not going to have that much time. Average field position, this is a last minute. Scrambles, it is intercepted to Colorado. Let's see it. Let's see the return. Good return after him. Great field position, but that will end the half with the score. Colorado's 14, Georgia Tech 7, and Colorado will get the football back to start the second half. And... As, as we are here at halftime, halftime on the Sean 11 13 channel, please comment, like, and subscribe if you like this content, and hit the notification bell with, with, for any and all videos that come off YouTube, Rumble, BitChute, and what have you. And with that, also a couple of things I want to mention. Um... There's a network called RJL Network. Um, baseball, if you if you like baseball, you like baseball commentary, you like the games, you like to listen to the games. Right now, RJL Network has the 1979 baseballs in Major League Baseball season. Um, you'll enjoy it. Just check out our RJL Network. I'll probably, I will more likely put the link in the description on that. There are plenty of others, um, places, places, places you should go for card and dice games. Al Ressock, Fred, Dave Gardner, Dave Little, Retro Smoke Sports Network, Play Games. I mean, there's so many to mention, but it's so, so good. And it, and it made me rediscover my, my passion for cars and dice, because I was out, because I was out of the game for, I was out of it for quite a long time, and, and then the pandemic hits, I get unemployed on my, I end up getting unemployed on my old job, so I, so for four months in 2020, I had to make do with the unemployed, so I was unemployed for four months before July 2020, and then I, one day I just searched card and dice games and I just got hooked on it and it just 
made me love it again. It was the one of the best decisions I made in that, and it made me really enjoy the games and discover it again. So, I am like I said, I, I was a video game. I have been a video game guy, but the rediscovering of card and dice games, and especially sports games, have made me come back to it and made me have a joy I never thought it would have again. And and you know. That's my testimony at halftime on that. And with that, you know, that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, but whatever your passion is, just go for it. Stay encouraged no matter what. And with that, that's my halftime show. Colorado, 1990 Colorado, 1990 Georgia Tech. Colorado leaves 14-7 as Georgia Tech kicks off the second half to Georgia Tech. Here's the kickoff. So Colorado starts with average field position. Let's see what they can do. And that offense and, or offense, no. Poor defense, no. But they will get another attempt at a field goal. They are 0-2 for 2 in field goal attempts. Let's see if they can make it this time. The kick is up, and it's 11 to 45, by the way. Colorado's kick is up. No good again. For the third time. Colorado 0 for 3 on field goals. The kicker is Jim Harper. Jim Harper is 0 for 3 on kick field goals. 13 minutes left. Georgia Tech gets the ball back in average field position. Let's see what the Yellow Jackets can do. Great field position, no. Home with this and no. Four minutes elapsed on the clock. They have to pump back to Colorado. So here's the pump by Georgia Tech. Average field position, Colorado. Let's see what they can do on this possession. Prolific offense, yes. Touchdown run. Touchdown, Colorado. And it was very quick, too. Now, let's see on this roll who scored the touchdown. More likely, Ed Eric the enemy, who was the most notable star in Colorado. And many of you know now know he is the head, the offensive coordinator for the Kansas City Chiefs. With that, let's go forward. Yes, it is Eric the enemy on a touchdown run for Colorado. Right away. And it's 21-7 Colorado. Because Harper is automatic on that. So Georgia Tech definitely needs some kind of spark before it gets out of hand. It is now Colorado 21, Georgia Tech 7. Georgia Tech has average field position on Colorado's kickoff. Let's see what they can do. It's a crucial. This is an important drive for Georgia Tech right now. Oh, and he's picked off. Sean Jones has been picked off. Interception. Second turnover for Col for Georgia Tech. Let's see. Let's see on the interception return. Great field position by the defense. Colorado gets it back. Gets it back. Let me let me look at the clock for a moment. Five minutes left in the third quarter. Let's see what let's see let's see what Colorado does. Another touchdown pass. Pass by Darian Hagen. Let's roll see who gets that. Let's see. Hemingway gets the touchdown. No, 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 no. Hold on. Charles S. Johnson gets the touchdown. And Colorado extends the lead. A Darian Hagen pass to Charles S. Johnson. And Colorado is now beginning to dominate this game 28-7 over Georgia Tech. As this game is getting quickly out of hand. With one minute left in the third quarter. 
Here is the Colorado kickoff. Average field position of Georgia Tech. They have they must score in order to get have a chance. Here they are. Reliable disciplined defense. No. Meek defense. Another interception. Third of the game from Sean Jones. Interception. Right on. Touchdown, Georgia. Wow. A last minute touchdown. And it's now up 35-7 as we end the third quarter. Wow. And it's not even close at this point. As we end the third quarter, 21 unanswered points in the third quarter. Colorado, 1990 Colorado, 35. Georgia Tech, 7. Three turnovers and that touchdown. For Georgia Tech. Unbelievable. The defense has stepped up for Georgia Tech. Well, actually Colorado, actually. They have stepped up in a big way. Man. And now they're headed to the final quarter. Kickoff to, to Georgia Tech. Average field position for Georgia Tech. Let's see what they can do. Stars deep. No. A touchdown pass. They'll probably need more than that. at this point, Sean Jones. Let's see who, he, who, who got the receiving touchdown. Let's roll this. 46. Greg Lester gets the touchdown. The Greg Lester. 35 14, Colorado. Colorado. They're going to kick off the Colorado and let's see. Georgia Tech kicks off. Average field position. This game is quickly. Wait, prolific offense. It's caught touchdown. And another touchdown. That game. And it, Colorado scores a touchdown run. That's who it, it is, too. 51. Another Eric the enemy with his second touchdown. Out of this game, and this game is pretty much settled. It's, if it's not settled, it is already, man. Oh, wow. 42 14, 1990 Colorado over Georgia Tech. Georgia Tech. Kickoff. Georgia Tech gets it average field position. <sighs> Dynamic or whole offense? No. Soft defense, no. Punt. Two ticks off the clock. Seven minutes left. Halfway toward the fourth. Georgia Tech punts. Poor field position for Colorado. But they haven't been able to stop it, like I said. Punt. Back of the end zone. Punt BU. Back to Georgia Tech. Here's the punt. Average field position for Georgia Tech. Tech, let's see. It's there. Punt. Soft defense, no. Great defense, no. Punt, 19. Oh, it's a fumble. It's a fumble. Ball, four turnovers. Georgia Tech once again gets the turnover. Wow. Not a good day. Great field position for Colorado. That is the fifth turn. That is the fifth. Fifth turnover of this game. And that's been the story. Three minutes left. This game is almost over and it's almost and pretty much settled, to be honest. So wait. Three minutes to go. Let's see what Colorado does in great. Listen. Oh, they get fumble. And it will be a fumble. 
Well, to end this game, actually. It doesn't matter. It will be a port to Colorado. But this game is over. Game auto. Well, well, well. Game over. The score is settled. And it's a convincing victory for, for the Colorado Buffaloes. The 1990 Colorado Buff Buffaloes. 42. And the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets, 1990-14. Give me a moment. I'll be, I'll be right back in one moment to get the stats. All right, sorry about that, folks. I had to take a break for a moment. But um, the score is, has been settled for the 1990 National Championship. And it was in convincing fashion. With the final score, 1990 Colorado 42. And Georgia Tech 1990-14. And I was looking at everything right now. It's like... Two touchdown passes by Darian Hagan. Two touchdown runs by Eric Bieniemy, And it wasn't even close. It really wasn't even close. Five turn And at three. And it would have been even more if it were three field goals for Colorado if three field goals were missed by Jim Harper. But when I look at all, also the turnovers, it was like... One, one, two, three, four, four, two, okay, hold on, one, two, three, four, five turnovers, five turnovers. By Colorado, by Georgia Tech. That's what did him in today. Five turnovers, three interceptions, two fumbles, and and that was pretty much it. With that, thank you so much for li f you, uh, again. Please comment, like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for any and all videos. Thank you so much for for watching this. Hope the next game will be basically 1991. The Miami Hurricanes and the Washington Huskies, who split their national championship in 1991. It will be coming very soon. And I do want to make a special thanks to Al Wilson and his fast drive football game. And it's good. Thank you so much, Al. With that, or actually my brother's name is Al as well, so... It has some ironic significance to that. With that, thank you so much for watching. And please stay encouraged no matter what.